Put your libraries and set your API keys. You do need an account and API key from 11 Labs for generating text to voice. Agree to this statement before continuing. Write your super awesome prompt for the interviewer and the expert, or simply download them from Patreon. Set the initial messages for the GPT call. Define a general function to make the GPT call with streaming responses so we can see the response in real time and then return it. Create a function to play the audio. Remember, we have imported it from 11 labs. Set an interesting topic and initialize the conversation list and audio list. We are defining a special sanitize input function to sanitize the special prompts we're going to be using for speaker intonations. Because in our system message, we are using special emotion signals and they can only be a single word. This function sanitizes the GPT output so that every emotion that is represented is a single word between these brackets. Then define how many turns you want to go on, start a loop, and append to your interviewer messages the topic which you have defined up here. We have checked for the beginning of the conversation and initiate the conversation with the topic. But for the last iteration of the loop, we let the interviewer know that we are coming to an end. Then we simply call the GPT with the interviewer messages and get the response. And then we sanitize that. Then we append to the conversation list, which we have defined up here. Then we add to the interviewer messages as the role of the assistant, the interviewer's response. And to the guest's message, the interviewer's response as the user. Because pay attention that for the interviewer, its own response is as the assistant and for the guest, it is as the user. Because the interviewer here to the guest is like you speaking to ChatGPT to get a response and vice versa. And then we do the same for the guest, get a response. And then we sanitize that response and we add it to the conversation along with adding it to the guest's messages and the interviewer's messages. The guest's own response is added as the assistant and the interview to the interviewer as the user, because the expert here, the guest, is the user to the interviewer. Then we simply write this conversation because we have concluded this loop to our file. You can download the code files for this project along with 100 plus other GPT project files and my Patreon. Link will be in the description. After writing the file, we open that file and read the conversation right here. And after that, we go into a loop to generate the audio for the conversation. The reason why we are saving to the file and immediately opening it is so that we can separate the generation of the conversation from GPT and generation of the audio speech into two different parts we want. To. This is to say, you can have this entire part of the code commented out and first run the script to generate the conversation and then comment out the code which generates the conversation and run the part which generates the audio. So you will have more control over the generation of the text and then the generation of the audio. Because once you have written the conversation to a JSON file, before generating the speech, you can go ahead and modify it to your liking. That being said, after we open the conversation again, then we initialize a concatenated audio string starting with the letter B. Then we go into a loop to go over this conversation. Here is our speakers, which are selected. Feel free to select different ones from 11 labs. And then we sanitize the input, print it for information purposes, and generate the audio with the selected 11 labs model. And we concatenate it to the string. And after that, we simply just save it to an audio file here in MP3. And remember, we have imported the save method from 11 labs. Source code for this, along with the prompts for the guest and the interviewer, will be available at Patreon. The link will be in the description. But remember that by using this code and by using 11 labs, you are agreeing that you will not be using this for any illegal, fraudulent, or harmful purpose. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. You can search and watch all my videos at my website, echohive.live. You can also find the code download links for each project at Patreon.
Link is in the description.